this is DOSBOT's mom. And Lawson Blue's giving me the silent treatment. And welcome back to the long game of King of Dragon Pass, where we have just restored the game and we are going to try again to raid somebody as soon as Lost in Blue stops doing the sign language behind me. I am sign language and you how to do everything in this game ever. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe in a molding this time. Sure. Okay. Since we're using the burning standard, we'll maneuver. And we won! And only one guy was moving. And that was because he tripped over on the cows. Probably. Yeah, we got 21 cows and 13 horses and took 18 cows worth of loot. I'm not looking at the screen because I know what's going to happen. Okay, traps. Yes. We prepared ourselves by laying traps for Golden Tooth's Horde. Golden Tooth's Horde bypassed our Tula, but ravaged our neighbors the Paluski. Okay, so let's save that. That's interesting that he actually just bypassed you because he laid traps because... In my game, he tried to go straight through, but he got turned back. Aha. Uh -huh. So we saved that. And... I'm just you're going to be sad, though, because... Maybe we could, um, send gifts to the... Send a fruit basket to the Paluski? Yeah. Sorry that we sent death to you guys, uh... Enjoy this delicious fruit basket. We threw in an extra apple. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we want to send any food. We're kind of low on food. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Possible. Outlaws proving more full of talk than fight. The gifts would serve as repayment for a favor we'd owed them. Oh, cool. And here come the poor spawn. Like the guys who are following them. They need the memo that they have to decide who else. Well, we turn them away. Oh, the burning timbers and it's still fine. Yeah, although we did get yeah, some more people killed and wounded. Tin Haran of the Nari comes seeking your help with a raid against the Normal he reminds you of the alliance between the Nari and Maclari and tells you the storehouses of the Oromarthi are like a tantalizing fruit ripe for the picking. Okay, so he says four, no opinion. Four, one, three, three. So we got equal numbers for three and four, and then one vote for one. Let me try one. Get to okay, six cows. Sonari, a good fortune on three generals rewarded us for our part in their success. Okay, and it's now Earth season, and we should probably trade for food. 
Go to visit the clan attacked by Jaldon Goldentooth and find devastation there. The Paluski clan has seen one in five of its warriors slain, many others wounded. Its fortifications have been severely damaged. The raiders drove off many herds of animals and looted the steads. Uh, send Carls to rebuild their fortifications. Our Carls worked alongside theirs, and friendship grew between our clans. We'll get lucky at that family that wants their darn horse back. We'll finally make peace. Well, that will have died. Yeah, against Mr. Death. Yeah. Death okay. kind of does have a habit of killing people. Uh-huh. Okay, it looks like the harvest is in, so are we okay on food now, I think? Uh, yeah. Probably. Well, maybe we could. Spread the seeds of friendship. Oh, uh, yeah. That's really distracting when you flap those wings around. Makes me think you're a marsh duck. Okay, we can give gifts to the Harani. Sure, why not? arrives in the area and claims part of your land. What? You claim more land than you need. We have more need than land. Surely as good Orlanthe will allow us to live there. Let's see. Maybe if they agree to an alliance or persuade them to leave. Okay. Please. One, two, or five. Three, two, five, two. Please adopt them into the clan? No. We probably almost ha immediately have to split. Yes, we just be kicking them out. I'd say either hold a feast for them and then ask them. They said the brown boar clan was grateful to us for our hospitality and would seek land elsewhere. Later, we learned they had found a place to live in Dragon Pass. Okay. And it's dark season again. Do we need more weapon things, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Especially Exploration parties and stuff. Yeah, somebody else. Ah. Oh. oh, the Almarthi, the Almarthi have a new chief. A figure from your clan's past returns triumphantly. Derek, who left your clan so long ago when his family was slain by stable nomads from Prax, 
has now gathered a band of nomad warriors. He's now called Derek Furman. After all the hides of his slain enemies, he and his followers have taken his trophies. He wants to fight Jowlin Golden Tooth, the deadly hero of the Praxis. He seeks your help in doing so. It will be a legendary battle, says one that I'll win. When I do, if you've helped me, your clan magic will be strengthened. Let's see, how many? Okay. Like, 11 or 12? This is death. 12? Yeah. And then immediately hire some more. Okay, we're now friends with the Harani. Warriors of the Bacad clan have snuck onto your Tula and killed one of your Carls. They identify themselves as Anderos and Althea let Iskali's son go, so we know they did this to avenge their brother. Uh, uh, let's see. Anything except for one. Demand Weir Guild. Yeah, demand Weir Okay, so... Okay, Carl's. So... That tells us how much to ask for. The usual amount. The Bacad chief agreed that Enderos and Othea and their kin should pay compensation for the deaths of Iskali. Okay, and it's now storm season. Do you want to send an exploration party or hire more weapon fates first? Let's hire a few more. Okay. We can never have enough. Okay, and now let's save. And then explore. Well, nothing, nothing bad has happened while exploring the Southwest yet. Go, former pink-headed man. I've heard disturbing rumors about the activities of our enemies, the brown boars. What? 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 But because we didn't let them move in with us? They've been scouring Drake. We threw them on feet. Maybe we need to send diplomatic mission their way. I thought we were friends. I mean, we gave them a feast and everything. Typical harvest, great map painted by Lancor and me, and warned that another clan would gain luck meant for us that we didn't explore distant parts of Dragon Pass this year. That means far, far, far away. away. Okay. But not far to the north, because that will see us to... At uh, that crazy troll lady. Uh, yeah! I mean, brood mother. Brood mother. Um, I've watched you play Lost of Blue. I think you watched me play Mass Effect 4. I think all you know is Shepard runs around in circles and... Oh no! oh no! Our tribal king died of old age! Near death, the Oh no! He slew Jowlin Golden Tooth and buried him beneath a cairn of skulls. 
but the blows Jaldin dealt to him took their toll soon after he did so, and Derek hasn't regained consciousness since. Send the for Talana Roy Priestesses. Or no, wait. Yeah, send for Talana Roy Priestesses. Priestesses were hard to find. Well, we found one healer willing to treat the one who laid Death's champion to rest. Derek regained consciousness a few days after the treatment was awake. He was able to stand within two weeks. Of him. Well, Derek prepares to leave. Um, um, you know, uh, okay. Actually, I would have liked to make him our clan leader. Oh, rap. Okay. Tears appeared in the great warrior's eyes. Clan of my birth, again you honor me. He dried his eyes and extemporized the song. He sang it in an unearthly voice and it was about our clan and his love for us. It wasn't long before clans throughout Dragon Pass were singing the song. Most of them changed it so it was about their clans, but they still knew which clan the song was really about. Yeah. Well, um, okay, we have... <laughs> We need a new clan leader. There's probably going to be another election for tribal king soon. Oh, oh crap. Our one Orlanthe is gone. Off exploring. How about we put someone temporarily in charge and then uh, once he gets back, we'll put him in charge. So, uh, I guess she's in charge for now. Not really happy about that, but actually she's a woman. Don't put her in charge. Don't put her in charge. Uh, Are there any uh, other Orlanthi? No, I think he's the only one. He's, it, oh look, our farmer got ah, went ball. <laughs> Uh, another Langor me guy? Oh, I forgot we had it. Uh, crap. Actually, how about we just reorganize the whole darn clan ring? Well, that's what I was thinking of. I'm calm, but... <laughs> don't do this, don't do this crazy talk. We got that guy. Okay. Go ahead, man. I'm not really crazy about putting him in charge. Maybe what we should do instead is put Sartar in charge for now and then just put someone else in charge. Or we could have him take the place of Ingana. Our, um, our cow lady. I don't understand. Farming. You know, he's excellent at farming. Yeah. Um, what? It's just a, I'd say it's just decent. Or if you want to do that, just put the creepy barn tar guy in charge. The creepy barn tar guy. Okay. Like, even though farming should have just there, I guess. Okay. Then we can just switch things back once that other Orlanthi gets back. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. They want to perform a ritual to honor Eralda. Um, give them gifts. They got plenty. Okay. Sure, we got. We can afford it. Whipped our cows. Say okay. Uh, okay. Alright, so, um, we're very upset if that guy dies. Um, what shall we do while, in the meantime, I'm waiting for him to come back? 
Uh, send out either higher more. Well, we don't. Well, we, we need to send a diplomatic mission to the ground. That's true. That's true. Okay. Why are they so Because we didn't let them move in. And we were we want you crazy people. They wanted our land. There. Right. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, I guess they're not mad at us now. Yeah. Hopefully. A thrall owned by the Hjord clan stumbles onto your clan lands begging for help. We realize it's our lot in life to serve, but we can no longer serve the Hjordlings who mistreat us terribly. Even a thrall can take only so much injustice before we must rise up and strike a blow for freedom! It transpires that this thrall, your sar, incited a rebellion on the Hjord Tulet. He and his fellow thralls killed several Hjordlings and fled to the woods. Outraged Hjord things are now pursuing them seeking vengeance. How many warriors should we have? Five each. Yeah. Uh, it is wrong. It is wrong? I'd say it's wrong. Okay. The chief agreed and ended pursuit. During our absence, Yorsar slipped away and rejoined his group. He and the other Pharrell soon melted into the landscape. We later heard they migrated to parts unknown, after which no one ever heard anything more about them. So... Emergency session of the tribal moot. Yeah. We have to nominate him. Well, he's an Orlanthi. Yeah, but. They're not Orlanthi. They're not a, well, except for Saratar and er Erdaldini and in Ghana, they're not in our clan ring. Okay. I am just missing the point here. Kumakti usually aren't tribal kings. Besides, he's only in his 30s. He might actually live long enough to finish the game. True. Okay. Half our cattle, half our goods. Yeah, one, oh, eight. Half of it. Half of what's, what they allow. Oh, let's see, there's five other clans, so maybe a may bet to... 110 and you shush we're busy electing tribal king right now busy rigging an election yes vote early vote often and get the spirits of our ancestors to cast votes too it's the chicago way or the mcclary way okay half our weapon fans and half our footmen Okay. Okay. Oh, 
I'd say probably about 95. Eh. Karendra was chosen as queen instead. See, I told you we should have picked someone from her here. We don't have somebody who's an Arlanthi. Or a Vingan if they're female. But we don't have any Vingans. Did we ever get that baby out of We didn't get her in this game. game guys. We'll have a chance to get him elected tribal king later. Somebody with better leadership skills. Maybe. But at this point we'll save the game and figure out what to do next. At least we won't have to judge legal cases for a while. You don't mind playing uh, or Judge Genesti or whatever. But, okay. But anyway, we'll figure out what to do now that we're no longer Tribal King in the next episode. So we'll see you then.